My name is um, Engineer Austin Kitololo. I first joined the AAK in, on April 8th, 1975. That's when I became a member. And I uh, became a fellow on 30th November 1993. And um, um, I have been a fellow ever since. And uh, I have seen, I have seen, I was in the first, in the first batch of fellows actually, of the, of the association, the very first batch. Yeah, they were architects, um, they were, I mean, architects, senior architects, like David Mutiso was there, um, and uh, quantity surveyors, you know, Gishwiri was there, and um, in engineering, I believe I was the only one at that time, and uh, others came much later. Yeah. I, in the private practice, and I work as a Kitololo consultant, which is one of the oldest indigenous firms of engineering in Kenya. Uh, I graduated in 1966 and I was the only Kenyan in that class uh, University of East Africa Nairobi campus and from there I worked with city council as assistant engineer and then I went to Mombasa again as assistant engineer and I rose to become a city engineer. Those days it was called municipal engineer of Mombasa. And um, where I stayed for three years, then I left and joined the private sector in 1975. Um, initially, I worked with Gordon Melvin and Partners before I registered Kitololo and the Partners at that time in 1978. And I have been in private practice since. The industry at the beginning when I started, it was dominated by experts or expatriates. And um, it was difficult to penetrate. But um, with the assistance of uh, parastatals and government ministries, uh, 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 the farm uh, took root. And it has been uh, one of the leading uh, engineering farms since, ever since. Um, the work at that time was, I would say, very professional in the sense that uh, um, we adhered to standards and codes of practice. And uh, even the constructors and their subcontractors were professional also. Um, now, in the building uh, sector, at that time, uh, the architect was the sort of the principal uh, what you call lead consultant these days, and he would choose his team, which would be accepted by the, the clients. Um, that practice, of course, has died away, and um, clients now seem to be playing the role of appointing consultants. Now, that has tended to uh, sort of 
move away from adherence to standards and, um, and um, uh, codes of practice because the clients would not choose the best in the industry. They would choose on the basis of uh, who knows who and on the basis of um, uh, um, perhaps uh, pricing as well. Now that tendency uh, is also um, is practiced, uh, practiced now in, uh, in the public sector as well and especially when the Procurement Act came into place, the method of selecting uh, professionals, uh, professional teams, changed completely. It became the question of, um, of um, um, technical submissions and uh, with it, of course, went into, I mean, favoritism came in and nepotism came in, and it, it, has, it has more or less ignored the experience and expertise of, um, of farms, and especially the older farms have tended to sort of um, suffer in terms of workload uh, since the, the introduction of the procurement. Uh, 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 procedures. Now, that also has now had an effect on the quality of the products themselves. Um, we have seen more buildings collapsing these days than ever before. We have seen uh, roads failing uh, before their design lives uh, are attained. And um, we have seen uh, a, a professionals with less qualifications and less um, uh, experience getting jobs which they cannot manage. And that has um, uh, uh, s sort of brought down even the reputation of the uh, technical consultants. Now, uh, the industry was um, um, I want to say uh, very vibrant at the beginning uh, because of course the government was uh, spending less than it is spending today and, uh, and of course the the programs have tended to be more and more, uh, especially with the demand from the counties and so forth. Now, uh, but, but uh, you, you find the, the timely um, um, uh, implementation of projects has suffered uh, because of this procurement um, uh, act, uh, the process of determining or of selecting consultants is lengthy. And by the time the consultant starts working, uh, the financial year is also nearing the end. So you find uh, the delays are there. I'm talking about public projects. And um, so, so, it is something that should be taken uh, seriously, especially um, by the national government, um, because um, we do not seem to be implementing the programs, the development programs, on time. You know, and in many cases, I think money has got to be returned to the treasury because we have short the period, and and so forth. Now. This has to be gone into. And again, the method of selection now has got to be rethought because we are getting um, um, sort of mediocre kind of service rather than uh, 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 
the service that um, uh, the sector, the sector deserves. Um, and um, now, also the numbers have grown. The numbers of professionals in the in the industry, construction industry, has grown quite a lot compared to the time, say, I personally went into the private practice. And um, but then, but then, uh, one finds that. Uh, uh, that seriousness, that pride of being a professional, say an engineer, for example, a structural engineer for that matter, or a roads engineer, or water engineer, th th that pride has sort of um, been su submerged by the desire to make money. And, uh, and because of that, um, uh, the, the quality and the, and the, uh, the, the budgets and uh, also the timelines have tended to sort of suffer um, because um, younger people, younger, younger, younger generation have tended to sort of put money ahead of, of uh, professionalism. And as a, re as a result, um, uh, we are getting uh, shoddy, shoddy projects. We are getting uh, substandard uh, work being accepted and so forth. And, uh, and consequently, there are more failures, more dysfunctioning uh, 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 products uh, and so forth, which shouldn't be the case really because um, um, Kenya as a country uh, is taken uh, or is considered as one of um, uh, the, 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 the <laughs> good countries, good in, in quotes, uh, because um, they, they, they have maintained some form of standards and, um, and, uh, and, and uh, uh, they, they have tended to sort of keep to international uh, norms uh, in construction. The contractors themselves also have, of course, um, changed in character since, since the time I started. We had contractors who are proud of what they are doing, who are proud of what they are producing. But today, uh, what they're interested in is money. Um, I have experienced many cases where uh, work has been done and, uh, and sort of finished, but uh, when you, uh, you, you see it even visually, you can see it is substandard. And when you go into the testing, you find um, they have been uh, a cheating on the part of the contractor, maybe um, with the, the permission of the supervising consultants. Now, coming to the supervising consultants, uh, um, many of them are not doing their work. In many cases, you find that the contractor is left to work on his own. You and he. He, he does whatever he wants and perhaps calls the supervising consultant and says, I've done this and this, and says it's okay. And this is why you find cases of, um, of um, malpractice, you find cases of uh, um, incompetence, you find cases of uh, even uh, compromise, you know, people being compromised by the, by the, uh, the constructors. And this is because um, of, uh, I think, the eroded pride of being a professional. That is, that is one big thing. Now, I would um, advise um, the younger generation to be strict um, with uh, 
is the court to practice to be strict with the, um, uh, the best practices and uh, to make sure that integrity uh, uh, becomes their norm. Um, um, and that way then we can supervise or we can even design and, um, and uh, specify uh, the right um, uh, 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 structures, the right services, and so forth. 